Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator compressor start device. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new compressor start device. The compressor start device consists of the relay and the overload. The manager should be changing it out so if it's failed and the compressor is not starting and the unit isn't cooling. In order to get to the part, we have to go around to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're on back, we can take the cover off. We're going to use our 516 nut driver to take out the screws. Once you have all the screws out, you can lift the cover off and set it aside. Now that we have the cover off, we can reach in and take off the wire that holds on the compressor start device and the capacitor. It's hooked into this metal frame right here, so we're just going to carefully move the wires out of the way. And then reach in and press in on it to release the tension and unhook it from the metal. Once you have it unhooked, we can set that down. Once you have the retaining wire off, we can reach in and remove the capacitor. It's just pushed onto the start device, so we just have to wiggle it and pull it off. Once you have it released, you can pull it out, set it aside. And we can reach in and grab the compressor start device and wiggle that and pull it off the compressor. Once you have it free, you can pull it out so we can take the wires off. Once you have it out, we can disconnect the wires. There's a double orange connect to the neutral and the black attached to the line. We're just going to use a needle nose pliers to help pull the wires off. Once you have the wires removed, we can pull the compressor start device out of the refrigerator. Here's the old compressor start device next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they redesigned it. The wires are now going to be more up towards the top and the capacitor is going to be mounted on the bottom, but it will go in and work just fine. We're going to attach the wires and put the capacitor on before we install the new compressor start device. We're going to put the black wire on this terminal. This goes directly to the overload, just like the old one. There's no L or N on the new one to signify that, so just make sure you put the, the black one up there. And we'll put the double orange one here. This goes to the relay. Once you have those pushed in so you have a good connection, you can put the capacitor on. We just have to slide it down this post right here, and you want to make sure that the terminals go into these little openings. Once you have it snapped in, we can put it into the refrigerator. When you're pushing it onto the compressor, you want to make sure that the holes are oriented like this with the overload on the top so it slides onto the pins properly. Once you're ready to put it on, we can get all the wires out of the way and put it onto the compressor. Once you have it mounted securely, we can grab the wire and wrap it around. Once you have the wire secured to the compressor, you can push the wires back into place. Make sure they're not tangled around this copper tubing. And then we can put the cover back on the refrigerator. Anytime you have the cover off, you want to take the opportunity to clean this area up. The cleaner it is, the more efficient the refrigerator will run. So you want to make sure you clean the compressor off and clean the motor up and the fan blade as much as you can. Get the condenser cleaned up as much as you can. You want to be careful of all these copper lines. If you damage any of those, it's going to cause problems with the refrigerator. To put the back cover on, you just want to set it in place, and then we can use the 5 16 inch nut driver to put the screws in. Once you have the cover installed, we can plug the refrigerator back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair, brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.